I was in Budapest, in Hungary, 1944, and I lived on the 10th floor on the riverside. And I saw harsh noises, 10 o'clock in the morning. So we looked out and we saw how children are transported by trucks and thrown into the river. I saw them, they were screaming. So I promised to myself I'll create the yeshivas and schools for children and God helped me, I was saved. I came to America. My first thing was, how do I make yeshivas? The institution of a Beis Yaakov, of Girls Chinuch, was something very new to Far Rockaway. The founders of Teg had the vision to work to develop a school that was unique in terms of Chinuch Abonos. In those days, nobody needed or wanted a Beis Yaakov here. Rabbi Moshe used to say how he went door to door asking if they would send their children, their daughters, to tag, to a Beis Yaakov. Nobody ever imagined that from a town had nothing, and suddenly it, it became, and it has a name all over the country. If not for tag, there wouldn't be a community at all. Tag was a vital, very critical, Component in saving the community. It was an attraction. People wanted to send their girls to a school that was for girls and they were learning in the Derech Hashem in the right way. Their authentic Torah Yiddishkeit that they have created in the school. And that has made ripple effects and it has affected generations upon generations. The fact that parents sent their daughters to TAG made a commitment on their part that they want the girls and they want the family to be going a certain direction. And that's really what brought the firm kind into our community. Due to the founding of TIG, the ground became more fertile for other boys' yeshivas, eventually other girls' schools. Once there was an acceptance of such a concept in this community, there was opportunities for others to come in. When I look now at the Farakaway community and how it has burgeoned and grew, it's really, it's the TIG education from year to year, that dripping, slow, water that was hitting the rock that has really turned the Farakway community into what it's become today. The development of our community, 60 years of Torah Academy for Girls is a wonderful accomplishment and the consistency and headed by Baruch Hashem of Maya Whiteman and wonderful teachers and wonderful Hanhala. The branches that continuously are growing from the roots are our very own Dean, Rabbi Whiteman, who continues to perpetuate the Messiah that he got from his illustrious parents and together with his Rabbeim that continue to guide all the Moros, all the teachers, and all the incredible education that goes on in this phenomenal school. Rabbi Meyer Whiteman, lives and breathes the Messiah that he received from his parents on a daily basis. He does not make a move without Das Torah, without thinking to himself, what would my father have said in this situation? Many of our alumna, they go on, they become kolo wives, clay kodesh, the teachers throughout the country, that their foundation was right here. I teach many seminaries in many schools. And I feel so much of that was really built through the input and hashkafos that I got in TAG. Baruch Hashem, TAG has been a phenomenal influence. I grew very much in TAG, both in learning and as a person. I'm the founder and director of an educational program called Ani Tefillah. Because of what I've learned at TAG, Tefillah is being taught on an entirely different level all over the world. They're able to go out and give back to the world what they got here. And that's why there's so many of them who are now principals in their own schools. There are so many of them out there teaching. They're giving back what they got here. Everything that TAG has evolved into being over the years is only a result of the Siyat of the that we've been zeichetu because of the incredible, unending efforts of 
Rebetzin Whiteman together with Rabbi Whiteman Zatzal. And what they did to help this school actualize their dreams, their goals, and their ambitions for a real, authentic base hack of education. The imprint that my parents left on TIG and on TIG students is the feeling of how wonderful it is to be a Bas Yisrael. Ashrenu Matayv Chalkeinu is part and parcel of their lives. A tear girl doesn't only do mitzvahs because she has to. She does mitzvahs because she's proud to, because she loves the fact that she's a Basmalach.